Glioblastoma is the worst of all the brain cancers and we're not, we don't do a good job of treating patients and improving survival. We've made some progress over the years. And I think one of the things uh, when patients run out of options and run out of clinical trials, you know, we're always compelled to do something more. And uh, in the literature, you find examples of a lot of other drugs that could be active in glioblastomas. And patients bring this information to me and I also read about it and find out about it. And so if there's a rationale that another drug, another new drug that's approved for some other cancer can help uh, our patients with brain tumors, then uh, you know, we, we, we sort of go through that process of risk-benefit analysis with patients and uh, if it makes sense, we, we do the treatment. And uh, certainly there's a lot of interest over the past few years based on our own research as well as others about combinations of FDA-approved drugs that can be useful that are not uh, cancer drugs. And so we've started looking into that as well in terms of our research and using combinations in our patients as well.